Anushka isn't just any school teacher. She loves her students. But behind her smile, she carries a deep interest in something else. Ancient stories and legends from Assam that hide secrets of the past. Among these, the tale of Bak casts a long shadow. This shape-shifting demon is feared for its cunning and malice. The Bak lurks in shadows and dense forests, far from the prying eyes of the village. It changes form at will. The villagers whisper about the Bak's insatiable appetite for fish and flesh. Dwelling in the dense forests and secluded ponds, Bak possesses immense strength and speed. Now a teacher in Assam, Anushka has been collecting these old stories for years. But there's a piece missing, a dark part of the legend but still unresolved, the tale of the back that haunted her father. As a little girl, she watched her father. Dippen, once a struggling fisherman, had toiled hard to become one of the wealthiest and most respected figures in the village. But he carried a secret fear about a dark legend, the bark that he could not escape. On a dark night, despite a full moon, Deepen, once cheerful and robust, faced something terrible in the waters, something that wasn't just a threat to his catch, but a threat to his very soul. Deepen saw the bark stealing his fish, something it had been doing for many nights. Deepen, an experienced fisherman, came face to face not just with the normal catch of the river, but with its darkest creature, the bark. This creature, more like a demon than a fish, born from the dark and sad parts of the river, took more than fish. It wanted to take souls if anyone saw it. Deepen knew his life was now in danger after seeing the bark. The old people in the village had talked about a small bamboo bucket that held the bark's life force. With his heart beating as fast as the river's flow, Deepen set a clever trap. He had the small bamboo bucket in his hands. The bark, trapped unexpectedly, was furious. The creature screamed and then pleaded. Its voice like the water against the boat. It offered to serve him, to bring him wealth beyond imagining, if he would only set it free. But Deepen, wanting more from life, decided to control the creature. With the bark under his control, Deepen's luck changed as if by magic. The village was amazed by Deepen's sudden good fortune. His nets and fields were always abundant. Life was good. But there was a dark side. Deepen used the buck to fulfill his own greedy plans, treating it terribly worse than a slave. All the while, the buck waited patiently for a chance to free itself. It waited, its power hidden behind obedience, its desire for revenge ticking away like a slow clock under the waters of Assam. As years passed, Deepen became more paranoid. He moved the bamboo bucket every night, hiding it where not even his family could find it. During a fierce monsoon, Deepen's fate changed dramatically. The bucket, his source of power and curse, was stolen by a servant curious about its contents. The back was freed and took its revenge on Deepen. At dawn, Deepen was gone. The villagers whispered of bad omens, something old and vengeful might be free again. Anushka was left alone, convinced the Bak had taken her father and their family's wealth. Now she wanted revenge and to restore her father's legacy by capturing the Bak, using its weakness hidden in the bamboo pouch. And she firmly believed that Bak was her destiny to confront. Just as despair almost took over, a small light of hope appeared on Anushka's laptop. It was an international offer for a grant to study less-known stories of the region. With the much-needed financial support, she traveled to Dunimari, her ancestor's village, where her father had once prospered. Right in the heart of where the Bark was said to roam. The villagers spoke about the Bark with fear. The elders warned her, but their warnings only made her more determined. She knew she must face this challenge alone if she was to reclaim the bamboo pouch and control the back's power. The whispers grow louder, drawing her deeper into the dark. Anushka's camera captures fleeting glimpses of something large and frightening, hiding just beyond where she can see clearly. Anushka sets up her recording gear by the edge of a dark, foggy lake not far from the shrine. A 
Anushka scatters piles of fish along the lakeshore, their strong smell filling the night air. The back emerges a living nightmare. In that moment, myth becomes reality, and Anushka realizes her grave mistake. Your father stole my powers and paid the price. And now, you will do answers, she found a gruesome end. As dawn breaks, the search for Anushka begins. Near the shrine, they find Anushka's camera, its screen shattered. Her camera, the last witness to the horror, tells a chilling tale. The evening wraps the village in darkness, and people whisper about Anushka, and included her in the scary stories Bark has spread through Assam for years. The creature that used to be Bark, now wearing Anushka's face, leaves the untouched wilderness behind. The village stirs as a figure emerges from the forest at dawn. It's Anushka. Or so it seems, she's back and alive. Relief spreads quickly, but soon after, so does a feeling of unease. The creature, now in Anushka's form, observes her students and friends closely. It reflects on its new life, knowing it must keep up this human act to survive. As Bark, now in Anushka's form, I am learning how to act like a human. I remember everything from her life. It's hard, but I need to keep going. As Bark, I have to adapt and find new ways to survive. I'm the last of my kind, and now I must live among humans. Humans always want more and sometimes do wrong things for power. I will use this weakness against them to stay alive and keep my kind story going. Bach's legend serves as a stark reminder. Stay vigilant, cling to the righteous path, and beware the shadows where evil might shift its shape. For in Assam, the tale of Bach is not just a story, but a warning whispered through the generations.